Welcome to Wild of the World guys and maybe the sign behind me is giving it away already but we are visiting the Philippines on our big trip through Asia. This is the island of Bohol. Let's go. But first let's do a little recap. It's been a year already since we started this trip in the Middle East and went to Africa. After island hopping in the Caribbean we took a camper van on a road trip through North America. Next up was Mexico, the Galapagos and Brazil. And after adventures in Southeast Asia, you saw us cruising the west coast in beautiful Australia. From Australia we took an airplane to the capital of the Philippines, Manila. And from there we had a transfer straight to the paradise island of Bohol. And over here we're gonna do some exploring, but first we're gonna chillax on a fantastic resort guys. This is Cliffside Resort, very remote from the outside world, on the rocks, looking out over the sea. And what else do you need? This is another slice of paradise guys. Just south of Bohol is a smaller Panglao island. And this is the ultimate destination for amazing beaches, an extensive coral reef to do some snorkeling and plenty of unique nearby attractions. Good morning guys, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day and it's time to explore the island of Bohol. We're staying on Pang Lao, a little island just south of Bohol, so it's a one and a half hour drive from here. But a driver is going to pick us up for the whole day because we're going to see all the wonderful natural sights. Let's go! The first place that we make a stop is a very special one. This was the first peace signing behind me on Bohol between the Spanish colonists and the Philippines. Uh, it was in 1565 and they did this by doing a blood pact. So the situation behind me where everybody is taking pictures is actually where this happened. Takbilaran, the capital of Boho, is the place to start a trip across the island. We stay in the city of Takbilaran for the next historical site. After a small jump in time, we end up in 1595. The first church was built here in all of the Philippines, also on Boho. Its name is the Immaculate Conception Church in Baclayon. And it's so old, I feel young. The Baclayon Church turned out to be a milestone in history because 93% of the people in the Philippines are still Christian. The church has even survived several earthquakes and is still an important place of pilgrimage.
Okay guys, time for our next stop, which is a more natural site. We're going to a farm where they have all the animals that live on the island of Bohol. And amongst them are snakes, butterflies and lemurs. We'll have a look. The animals on this farm just run free, and others fortunately don't. But how cool to have seen some of the local animals at this little Philippine petting zoo. It's time for our next stop, which is the lunch. And all this sightseeing made me hungry, guys. So we're going on board of one of these floating restaurants. That's what they call these. And we're gonna make a little boat trip of about an hour while we have lunch on the way and do some sightseeing in the jungle. Enjoying the Philippine way. Enjoying these almost perfectly sung golden oldie songs, the cruise is a culinary but also natural highlight. We sail straight through the jungle of Bohol. Here we also experience the tinikling, proof that the Philippines and Spain really made peace with each other. The originally Spanish dance is now a Filipino tradition. For the next site we stopped along the road because on our way to the next site we see the man-made forest. Which is a forest made by man but it's still beautiful and mystical. It's a two kilometer stretch of mahogany trees and they're all lined up perfectly. Next stop is one that I have been waiting for for such a long time guys because we're gonna look for the most exquisite animal that you can find on the Philippines. It's the Tarsier. I'm at the Tarsier Sanctuary on Bohol and we're gonna try and find them. Let's go! So we're walking around here and we see one of them here behind me, the Tarsier, and they're actually quite small, smaller than I expected, but we have to be a bit quiet because they sleep during the day. These tiny primates look like humans, but their hands and feet have suction cups, so they can sleep while hanging in the tree. They are only about 5 inches tall and their eyes are actually bigger than their brains. Such awesome creatures! Wow, 
our first encounter with the tropical rains of the Philippines. So we saved the best for last guys because we are on top of one of the chocolate hills. A unique landscape for the entire world. There are almost 1300 of these chocolate hills here on Bohol and they are named this way because they turn brown in a dry period but now it's raining a little bit more so they are beautifully green but they are still spectacular. These mountains were actually created by erosion and limestone, but according to a myth, they are the tears of the giant Arogo. He fell in love with a human lady called Aloya. And when she died, his tears would be scattered here and petrified over time. A much more beautiful story, right? Wow guys, we really enjoyed the island of Bohol so much and I really think the Philippines have some natural wonders that you can see nowhere else in the world. For me, in 130 countries already I never saw things like the tar seers, the chocolate hills, all the incredible natural sights. But now it's time to enjoy this swimming pool for a while, stay at the hotel for a couple of days and then we move on to the next island in the Philippines, which is gonna be Palawan. And I'll see you there. From this wonderful slice of paradise we fly to another real wonder of the world, the underground river of Puerto Princesa. And after that we will also visit the turquoise lagoons of El Nido. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.